Let's compare a set of pallet forks versus a grapple. There's pros and cons. Sometimes you hear pallet forks called a poor man's grapple, but can they really do everything a grapple can do? Now I kind of came up with four different major criteria. Maybe you guys will think of something else, um, but four criteria to consider if you're trying to decide between a set of forks and a grapple. So let's go over cost, requirements on your tractor, versatility, and control of whatever it is you're picking up. Okay, so it goes without saying, you need to size whatever it is you're buying appropriately for the tractor, right? You can get forks for big and small tractors, same thing with grapples. You wanna have something that matches up with the loader capacity, all right? Because whatever the weight is of the grapple or the forks, you have to deduct that from whatever you can pick up. So if you get way too big of a set of forks, it's just gonna come off however much you can pick up with those forks, the same thing with the grapple. So forks, of course, are gonna be a lot cheaper than a, a grapple, and that's gonna be for a couple of reasons. Number one, you really don't have moving parts. Yeah, these tines slide left or right on here, but a basic set of forks is pretty basic <laughs> by design, whereas a grapple, you have, well, it needs to take a lot more stress out on the end, so you have a lot more engineering that goes into it, reinforcement, you have, hydraulic cylinders that are on there too. So there's just a lot more that's kind of built in and engineered into the grapple itself, not to mention the extra requirements to use a grapple that we'll talk about next. So there are a couple ways though to make forks a little bit more expensive. And we actually have a prototype here of our Versa forks, which they have a few more features built into them. They're gonna be able to be mounted on the front end loader and on the three point hitch both. So there's just extra steel and components that go into it. Costs a little bit more because of that, but gives you added versatility. And of course, if you want to step it up even more, you can get hydraulic forks so that the tines just hydraulically shift left or right, or there's even side shifting completely on the carriage there too. And those can get really costly. And normally you'll see those on um, bigger machines. You know, I have them for my skid steer, you know, for forklifts, for telehandlers, for loaders, all that kind of thing. Now on the flip side with the grapple, there are some ways to get that cost down. So we're gonna talk about those additional requirements that are needed, but if you want to avoid that requirement and you have a quick connect, a skid steer quick attach or a John Deere quick attach, you can get something called a brush crusher. It's a mechanical grapple, doesn't require those extra connections, and you can still have a grapple-like function. All right, so additional requirements, you're gonna be looking at these hoses right here, and they connect to another hydraulic circuit that's on your tractor. Not gonna be standard for most tractors out there. Summit does include this third function as standard, but John Deere, Kubota, most of the OEMs out there are not going to. So you can add that on as an option uh, when you order your tractor from the dealer or from the factory. But let's just say you have a used tractor, you know, you bought it uh, secondhand or it was a hand-me-down or whatever the heck it was, and you don't have those hydraulics, you can get a cheaper DIY solution from Summit Hydraulics website. You save 5% with code GWT. You can get it done in about a couple hours. All right, and so I talked about it earlier, you need to have a quick attach in order to have a grapple. Or do you? Well, you see the Skidster Quick Attach here, the John Deere Quick Attach over here, but a lot of folks, again, kind of in the older tractors, and or maybe their dealer didn't tell them when they were ordering it new, they have a pinned on bucket, so you can't quickly take that bucket off and put a grapple on or put a set of pallet forks on. Well, Precision Manufacturing has a couple of solutions there. You can get an add a grapple. You can get one that just bolts right onto your bucket, gives you a top jaw so you can clamp down and, and secure a load, and in fact, they also have an option for pallet forks. You can add on a grapple function to pallet forks too. Easily slides on and off. You do have to have the additional hydraulic connection on there to make it all work. But if you have a pinned on bucket, there's a solution for that. If you're thinking, man, I really just need a set of forks, but maybe I want to add on a grapple at some point down the road. Maybe you look to that add a grapple for the forks too. Folks, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you own a tractor and you're gonna need more attachments in the future. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, so need to talk about versatility. And there's a reason that forks are called a poor man's grapple because they can do a lot of the jobs that a grapple can do. But just because they can do it doesn't mean they can do it as well or as precisely. And this is sort of like the comparison between the back hoe and the front hoe. It's the same thing. You can't do, you can't do everything with a front hoe bucket than you can with a back hoe bucket. There's limitations there, but for a lot of folks that think they need one of these tools, forks or a grapple, 
Maybe you, you make a list of what those jobs really are so you, you don't have to try to remember, oh yeah, I gotta do this, oh yeah, I gotta do that. Just write it down and then check it. If a fork can do it, just check it off. If a grapple can do it, check it off and maybe all the jobs that you need to do, a set of forks will work just fine. Okay, so I, I think forks win the versatility between these two. You know, of course, you can pick up pallets, <laughs> right? And you can put whatever you want on a pallet, right? You can store attachments on there, move them around. If you have um, uh, softener pellets that you want to stack up and take down to your walkout basement, if you want to take bundles of wood, you know, piles of wood and, and move it from point A to point B in your big bins and move them around, it just goes on and on. Logs, you can move those around with pallet forks. Your swing set, hang your deer up from it. Whatever you want to do. There's just so many things you can do with pallet forks. The list is endless and everybody has their own creative ideas and uses for it, but I'll tell you, nobody ever regrets getting a set of forks. Okay, so a grapple, not quite as versatile, you know, and some folks never take their grapples off and, and they find ways, or maybe their setup is, is a way where they just, it works for everything, right? But a grapple like this, you've seen us kind of rake along. So if you're doing debris cleanup, you can, a short bottom jaw grapple like this, you can kind of push along the ground and just kind of rake and clean up everything. You have this bar in between here too. If you need to really kind of get into a pile, say you have a, a pile of logs like what we have, it's really hard to pick out the log you want with a set of forks and get it on there. But with a grapple, you can kind of reach down on top and just pluck it off of there and easily kind of reposition and recenter yourself. It's also going to securely handle that load, right? So if you are moving on uneven ground, bouncing around, then I'd take a log, for example, where you're hoping you have the weight centered on there, but if something's rocking a little bit because everything is, is moving and dynamic, then it's nice to have a secure hold and clamp on it with a grapple. Now we've used grapples for a, a lot of different things, right? We've, we've plucked rocks with it, um, put them along our driveway up there, move logs with it, of course, big old brush piles. If you have uh, maybe trash cleanup, you know, we've got, we've got a, a pile of old, old steel scrap or whatever the heck it is from generations ago that's back in the woods I found recently. I want to get cleaned out of there. I'm expecting a grapple is going to be the right tool for that kind of work too. So there's certainly a lot of uses for a grapple and I don't want to discount that at all. But if I'm picking a winner on versatility, I'm going to give it to the forks. Now, if you're thinking, eh, mechanical grapple is not for me. I don't want to invest or deal with the hassle of getting the extra hydraulics on there. Well, there is a electric grapple option as well. And we sell that as a, an all-in-one kit. You still have to have a skid steer quick attach or a John Deere quick attach, but you get the wiring harness, you get a controller that goes on your joystick. It's a do-it-yourself solution. You can have that all done in an hour or two and ready to go. No trips to the dealer required. Okay, as far as control goes, we alluded a little bit to it with kind of picking a log off the top with a grapple. That is a, a big benefit. And the same thing if you want to set that log back down, or it could be a, a boulder. If you want to set something in a specific spot, you're going to have a lot better chance to do that with a grapple over a set of pallet forks. But you do have a little bit of control, right? You have some adjustment side to side on these tines. So if you have something that's wider that you need to pick up, or maybe you want to Maybe there is a boulder that you want to pick up and it's kind of like a, I don't know, sort of a triangle shape or a cone shape. And so you can narrow these tines up a bit and kind of scoop right underneath it and still be able to pick that up and carry it along. You do have some ability there to do so, but it's going to be hard to beat the control you can get from a hydraulic grapple. All right, so as far as what we're talking about, forks and grapples, well, we sell this stuff at goodworkstractors.com. We ship it all over the country too. So a set of pallet forks, these are our Versa forks. As of January, 2023, they're still a prototype. They're going to be coming out in the future. They're not available yet, but I'm expecting them. I don't know for sure yet because we haven't finalized everything. They're going to be a little bit more than our ultralight forks that we sell from HLA. A great option out there. We sell standard duty forks, heavy duty forks, all that kind of thing for John Deere Quick Attach, Skidster Quick Attach, and even Global Quick Attach. On grapples, this is going to be the Summit Grapple. It's available from Summit Tractor's website. Uh, an awesome grapple setup. We've done a whole overview on this one specifically. It is made in the USA, which I really like too. We do have a couple other made in the USA grapples that we sell on our website from WorkSaver. Again, a hydraulic version and an electric version of that one. We offer a lot of made to order very quick right now. Uh, just a couple of weeks turnaround time on precision grapples. That's where you can get that added grapple for the bucket too if you want, or even um, the added grapple to the pallet forks or just a, a standalone hydraulic grapple. They have that option as well. And then again, don't want to forget about the brush crusher too. Another made in the USA option. So a lot of really good made in the USA options. We try to feature as much of that as we possibly can. And we've done videos on just about all this stuff or if we haven't, there's certainly other good content out there on YouTube. And I'd always encourage you to check that out before investing in a purchase like this. All right, so my own opinion, you'll have yours, that's fine. I think forks obviously win cost. I don't think that's a debate. Requirements, again, I think forks on a base set of forks are gonna be winning the requirements game. They only need a quick attach. Versatility, again, I'm gonna give it to forks. Not that 
grapples don't have a lot of versatility. But control, which is critical, a grapple is going to win that. Now, fortunately, I'm blessed to have both, so I don't have to decide, and a lot of you guys are too. But it's a pretty common scenario to start out with a set of forks. They're a lot cheaper, and again, you'll see the comments down below. Nobody regrets having a set of pallet forks around. And you can always graduate up to a grapple down the road if you need to. So on that note, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you haven't watched our other videos, we have over 600 other videos out there. So make sure you check those out and hit that subscribe button down below to see more. No matter what tool you use, make sure you are planted firmly to the ground, have plenty of ballast weight on the backside. You'll get your jobs done quicker and get home safe.